All right, in our latest installment of TL431 circuits, we're going to be looking at over-voltage and under-voltage detectors, how they operate, and how we can connect to an Arduino or other microcontroller in order to detect uh, voltage levels. Again, real briefly, the TL431 is being a three-pin device, consists of a comparator, an internal 2.5 volt reference, and a switching transistor. When VN exceeds two point, uh, equals or exceeds 2.5 volts, the output at TP1 here drops from VCC, V plus, to 2 volts. From the spec sheet, here is your basic comparator configuration. Again, it stands as a 2.5 volt comparator. When VN exceeds 2.5 volts, VKA, the output, will drop to 2 volts. Briefly again, you can use a uh, PNP transistor tied into the TL431. And in this configuration, when the VN voltage exceeds the V reference voltage. U1 will switch on. This creates a current through R bias that creates a current through the emitter base junction of this transistor, and the output switches to V supply. All right, here's a circuit that I built and tested some modifications, but it's basically the same as I got it off the web. When VN, positive here, exceeds VREF, um, your TL431 will turn on, creates a current path to ground, and lights up this LED through a 1K resistor. Very simple circuit, but it has a shortcoming known as if you're having a VN of 4, 5, 6 volts, the LED tends to be dim. I don't care for this circuit. Again, this is the same circuit, but I add it back in with a variation. The uh, a PNP driver transistor for the LED and this 1K resistor. This should look familiar because this was the basis of our um, power supplies that uh, for battery chargers we've been studying. Gone is the constant current source. Gone is the TIP125 shunt transistor. And now it's just a voltage indicator. You adjust R2 here for the voltage that you want to uh, turn the LED on. When it meets that voltage, LED comes on, of course. If it's less than that voltage, the LED goes off. This circuit I happen to like a lot better. It has a completely separate supply from VN. So I can run VN from 3 to 24 volts with these resistor values here, and I would end up with a consistently bright LED at any trip point. And this voltage up here can be 5 volts, 9 volts. I just happen to have a 9 volt transformer and that's what I use to run the test. If you're going to have to use this anything above 12, 13 volts, um, you need to change this 1K resistor and this 1K resistor to, say, 2.2K. Go a little further down. The nice part about this separate supply, now I can tie it into 5 volts, remove the LED and the, its resistor and wire, and wire it up in this configuration. So when the, if you set this voltage here and VN meets or exceeds that voltage, the output here will go high. You can read it directly with a microcontroller. All right, here's another variation of the previous circuit, but this time I've added an optocoupler Instead of an LED, I'm using a 330 ohm resistor. And everything operates as before. Now this 
that gives me voltage and noise isolation from the voltage detector circuit and I can connect the uh, output to an Arduino or other microcontroller so when VN meets or exceeds the trip point set by the 100K U1 turns on, Q1 turns on and it turns on the optocoupler and the output goes low. So remember when this, when Q1 is turned on here, the output is going to go low. But that tells, that can tell the microcontroller, hey, some voltage is exceeded, go do something. One last note with this configuration, VCC does not have to be 5 volts. So if you're using this in a piece of industrial machinery, and that's what I base a lot of these circuits on, say this can operate at 12, this can measure uh, voltage from 3 to 28 volts, but tying the output pull-up resistor to 5 volts enables me a direct connection to an Arduino or similar microcontroller. While the previous circuits were technically over voltage detectors, this is a variation you could use for an under voltage detector. So how does it work? The resistor network and U2 work the same as before. All right, when the, uh, what happens here, you set this up as a voltage where U2 will turn on. That is your set voltage of anything. If U2 is turned on, then V out is two point is about two volts, but that is not enough to buy, uh, turn on this Zener diode, and thus the NPN transistor over here is turned off. Now, if the voltage drops below the set voltage, V out will go to VCC. But what this does is it creates a current path. For, and VCC has to be more than 3.3 volts. Ah, 5 volts or greater would be fine. VCC will rise up to, say, 5 volts or whatever it takes to exceed the 3.3 volt breakdown. This creates a current through the 1K, the Zener, and whatever to NPN transistor Q1. Q1 turns on. The LED lights up. The opto-isolator is turned on. I'm not going to do this side of the circuit again. The phototransistor turns on. That's connected to your Arduino or whatever. So you have both an indicator and a microcontroller interface, a wide range on your VCC, and it isolated it from VN. Of course, you could have inserted an LED in series with this circuit as well to have an on indicator when the U2 is turned on. And that's the end of the end of this tutorial on over voltage and under voltage detectors.